Welcome to another Mocket tutorial. In this video, we will go over how to create a prototype with audio effect. An audio widget allows you to add an audio player to your prototype. This allows you to display music or any sound effects in a prototype. Let's get started. We will start with a music app. First of all, let's get a music play screen of the app. Let's make a copy of our first screen. Here we make a duplication, and we can call it Play Screen. Now we will edit on this new screen. Click the icon, then search Pause icon on the right hovering window. Then we drag a pause icon, and replace the play icon. Now we are ready to add audio widget to this page. First. Click Widgets and Found Audio in the Hovering Window. Drag the audio widget and drop it on the screen. Then, let's click the audio widget. You will find the settings board appearing on the right side of the screen. This time, we paste our music link in the box. Here you can select forms of playing. In this prototype, we select Auto Play and Hide Controls. When you select Hide Control, the audio widget becomes invisible. But still, you can select the widget and edit the settings. Let's go back to the first screen and create an interaction from the Play button to the Play screen. If you tap the Play button, it will jump to the Play screen then begins Auto Play. Completed! Let's have a preview to this audio prototype. To review what we just learned today. Drag the audio widget in your prototype and insert a music link in the settings. You can select multiple playing forms, such as autoplay, loop or across the screens. Don't forget to give us a thumb up and welcome to subscribe our channel for more design inspiration. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next market tutorial.